what's up? I hope you are having a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. Today we are talking about money saving hacks when you are having a new baby. I'm going to go through 10 facts to um, some are going to apply to some people. Some aren't going to apply to other people. It's just the 10 things um, that can help you out if you're um, if you need to like come up with a budget plan or something when you're having a new baby. So number one um, would be um, women normally have baby showers, which they don't have to be a big thing. If you don't know a lot of people or have a lot of family, just invite the people you do know and you make a registry where you ask for certain things that you may need. Um, I have cloth diapers on here as well. Um, and they can be pretty expensive. I think for my cloth diapers, I paid, um, like $250 one time though. And then that was it. I've I've used them for both my kids. Um, you just wash them, and they have such cute designs right now. And I know when you say cloth diapers, you think of like the cloth white pieces that you take the big pin and you pin it. They're not like that anymore. They have buttons and they have um, really cute and fun designs, and you can pick through many. Um, and then the men, the father would normally have like a diaper party. Um, which is number two and um, if you are going to go the cloth diaper route you can either ask them to purchase a pack of cloth diapers or you can um, they're like really easy to get off of like Amazon and other sites like that or you can have them just bring gifts for the baby like clothes or bottles whatever you may need I wrote down cloth diapers which um, we kind of talked about a little bit but you can join Facebook groups for cloth diapers um, there's like a ton of YouTube videos about how to properly clean your cloth diapers. Um, they saved us so much money. It's crazy how expensive diapers are and especially with inflation and everything going up right now that $250 might seem like a lot, but not when you're spending like three grand all together on diapers. Um, number four is to um, breastfeed if you can because formula is so, so, so expensive. Um, I formula fed Ashlyn after two months and I wish that I would have breastfed her because formula is so expensive. Like I said, there are programs you can get where you get so much for free, but you're still going to end up buying formula there's really no way to get around it because as your baby grows your baby's going to be eating more definitely breastfeed if you can number five is to um thrift shop or use facebook marketplace to find what you don't get at your baby shower like i would definitely wait till after your baby shower to see what you still need as far as like bottles or um clothes um swaddles all of that you can get at a thrift store or um marketplace for very very cheap um number six is most states um have something called WIC. it is um women infant and child is what it stands for and um you get your child receives this until they are five years old um and you are also on on um the benefit package while you are pregnant and or nursing um, but you get stuff like formula, milk, eggs, cheese, fruits, and vegetables, which um, can help you out a lot. Um, and then you can, number seven would be, if you are going the formula route, you can go to like Infamil or Similac or whatever website that, um, for the formula brand that you choose, you can go to um, that website. <laughs> You can go to that website and um, you can sign up to receive coupons and they're like great coupons. Most stores let you use them um, like in bulk. Like if they send you a whole packet of coupons, you can probably get a couple cans for free because um, most places won't tell you, oh, you can only use one. Most places will just let you go ahead and use all of them. And they're like $5 off coupons most of the time. Um, posting on Facebook. So say you don't have a lot of people. Okay, so my camera battery just died. I think that I was on number eight, number eight out of my 10 facts, um, which I believe is posting on um, Facebook. So like say that you had a um, baby shower and a diaper party or a male baby shower 
or you could just do a joint one, you know, whatever you feel is best for you. Um, anyways, you could post on Facebook and say, um, looking for, um, newborn baby girl clothes, po looking for newborn baby boy clothes, looking for old bottles. And a lot of people on your friends list probably have kids and they probably have all that stuff. And, um, they could either like give it to you or, you know, sell it for you for super cheap. That's going to be way cheaper for you. Um, and a, another number nine would be um, ask your OBGYN about a prescription breast pump because breast pumps are very, very expensive and nine times out of 10, your insurance will cover it. I had no idea. Um, my, my OB um, had asked me, or no, it was the nurse. She asked me if I was planning on breastfeeding and I said yes. And she said, well, make sure you ask for a prescription. Um, and I got my breast pump for free through my insurance. Um, and money saving tip number 10, um, reusable nursing pads. I use those. They're made out, they were made out of bamboo. I got them off of Amazon. Um, if you're interested, I can always link what I bought down below for the cloth diapers and the reusable breast pads. But, um, all you do is just throw them in the wash and wash them like normal. And it came with like a mesh bag to just put them all in there so that it was like super, super easy. And, and that way they didn't get like lost in the washer and they stayed in the bag. Those are my 10 money saving hacks for when you are having your first baby. Um, if you want me to link the cloth diapers that I use down below, um, let me know and I can always go back and add those into my description as well as the reusable nursing pads. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the content that I have coming for you. Later this week, I am going to be having five new recipe videos. I think that I am on, we ended up going out to eat and um, tonight we're going to my mom's house to have like a taco Tuesday. And so um, I, I think I'm on recipe number three out of my five. So that one will probably be posted um, Friday or Saturday, but it is coming this week. So if you don't want to miss that and that sounds like something that's going to interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you don't miss it. Thanks guys. Love you.